Up until now, while talking about force and motion, we always assumed a force would set an object in a linear motion. But what about rotational motion of the object or the system? Can a force ever lead the system to rotate? Have you ever encountered that this might have happened? Some very common examples where you might have noticed such situations might be while using a wrench or while playing on a seesaw. Both these systems rotate even when the forces acting are along a straight line. This tendency of the system to rotate when a force is applied is known as moment of that force. The major cause of such kinds of rotation of a system is when two forces are applied in opposing directions to each other at some distance. Now in the cases of wrench and the seesaw, the opposing forces are applied by the pivot. These forces are also known as the reaction forces. This reaction force restricts the linear motion of the wrench, but that leads to a rotational motion. Mathematically, moment is the product of the force applied and the perpendicular distance from the pivot, where the axis of the rotation is positioned. Take a note that this distance should be perpendicular to the applied forces. For this case, this length will be the distance from the point of force applied to the pivot. Now imagine the same system, but this time you push the wrench towards the nut, which is the center of rotation. What do you think is going to happen? Is the wrench going to rotate about this pivot point? Absolutely not. The reaction force will be directed exactly opposite to the applied force and will be acting along the same line of action. Also, the perpendicular distance from the force to the point of pivot is zero. So, from this point, it can be understood that when a force is directed along the same line of action as the pivot point, then there will be no moment generated. And if you apply a force in an inclined direction like this, then a moment will be produced. But how much do you think it would be as compared to the cases before? This can be understood by breaking down the forces into its horizontal and vertical component. Here, the horizontal component is useless when it comes to producing a moment, and only the vertical component will be helping us out. Hence, the moment produced in this case will be less as compared to case 1, but absolutely more than zero. This is the reason why you should apply the force on this wrench in a perpendicular direction at all times to the wrench, for maximum result with the same amount of work. One more example where you might have seen this moment is when you apply a force on a cupboard but instead of moving forward, it topples about this point to fall down. Here again, a moment is produced where this point of contact would act as a pivot point. Explain in the comment section why do you think this happens and how can you prevent this from happening. Also, comment your queries in the section below. This is Professor Beaver, bidding farewell for now. Thanks a lot for watching.